Hello everybody. If you have Buick, GMC or Chevy Traverse, Chevy Traverse, Buick Enclave or GMC um, Acadia and if you're having the problem that the, uh, the car starts but you can't, you cannot shut the engine down, most likely you are having the same issue like I did. First of all, you need to shut the engine down. How you want to do it, you turn the ignition off, but the engine still running. Open your hood. Come to your fuse box. Open your fuse box. And check for a uh, fuse or relay for a fuel pump. And remove the fuel pump uh, relay after a few minutes maybe less than a minute the car will shut down because there's no fuel going to the engine so you got that you shut your engine down and let's talk about the actual issue what happened to your car why it doesn't want to shut down probably at some point your sunroof leaked water into the passenger side what happens there's a drain plugs coming off of the line somewhere here inside you have to take all this cover off to get to them and what happens it leaks the water through here into your dashboard and there's a fuse box over here and there's a connector located right underneath it this one right there connected with one 10 millimeter bolt right there right there you, you undo that bolt and take that um, wire off and you will see there are lots of um, what do you call corrosion you might have a corrosion on the fuse box as well I've already replaced the fuse box I've cleaned the wire was still doing it and I took this cover located right here this cover and this wire had the same corrosion as well and I unplugged it I got paint thinner and I cleaned it up with the paint thinner and made sure there was no more corrosion left and I plugged it back in there voila that was it I fixed the issue so in this video I'm not really showing how to like do step by step removing all this box like bolts all the glove box and everything you know this is more likely a uh, informal video so you have an idea what is the problem and what to diagnose where to go with it so all these plastics are easy to remove, they literally pop out. You can check how to remove the glove box, that's super easy. And your problem is going to be most likely that wire over there or the one on the fuse box. So good luck fixing your problem.